think that's the video you're all waiting for. Okay, so for making a really hypnotic electronic sound, we have to play with psychoacoustic because that makes this feeling of it's really close to you and it's like, ah, so we play with rooms and phasing, Doppler effects, things like this. To make this phasing sound really like powerful is you have a, a sound in the beginning that is really harsh. So we're looking for something where we can really fuck the signal. So I love wavetable and everyone have that. So that's okay. And then we have shapes like distortion. Okay. Let's make an ARP before in play order with I don't know, 16, maybe less, maybe 12. Let's see. What I do to make the sound complex is we go for an LFO and maybe let this wavetable um, morph. And then we sync that and make the number nice and slow and not so much. And then second oscillator, maybe something more classic. And here we already have like a kind of a phase what is already the first movement and then later we can control just the LFOs so what we do next and now we're coming to the let's say this is the sound amazing um, then up we don't need maybe that LFO is the only thing we need uh, for the sound generation itself okay and now we go to the sound design part and what I do always uh, is phaser flanger with Ableton 11 we have something really nice here I think it make it a super low number give the feedback a little bit up I don't know 40 40 50 around this and then uh, less notches we want to hear it simple with maybe two bands first and you can play with first of all just phasing One already really psychedelic song when you put a filter behind this. Trust me, it sounds hypnotic. Then uh, another version is use it like an oscillator. We have a rate that can go till 64. This means let's go a little bit more down. More down. We're starting to be hypnotic. 16. And with this you're getting really interesting new overtones and sequences that coming just from the raid. We're using it like a new oscillator kind of. That's also another interesting way to do sounds. Um, but also we have the doubler. And the doubler, when you give the rate really low and give him time. Okay, sounds already fucked up, right? But what you will do, we put this time and go smaller of the number and listen to this. I think 
cut is really psychedelic. What I do next is I use a lot of filters and get, and let them like move with LFOs. In my case, a shout out to Hypnos for the slink filter because that is just what I'm always built. <clears throat> and you ripple in more and more filter movements. They're going in offsets and you can sync it. And then with filters, that's also a thing. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't say I'm the pro of uh, hypnotic sounds. I just say the one that I do and you guys ask for, I do like this. Fast, fast filter movements. They are the key and then a lot of elements, you know, because I don't know, they do this. And when you always just go like uh, super slow, It's amazing, but the fast one, they give you this movement that just, I don't know, like something like one. Let's record just like this one for a sec. Um, and then Let's put an LFO also on this one. And then we can put that LFO also in a slow rate. And put that maybe on the ripples. So we really destroy this filter. Let's go. Just click here and change the wave table. Okay, nice. Uh, what do you guys think? We use this uh, phaser already quite sound designy and not more like a phaser, so why we not copy that one? Um, I like phasers always um, before the filter, just that he make the movement clean, but let's see. Um, and then this one, I don't know, maybe two, not that much feedback, and we go to the phaser back. Um, center the stuff maybe somewhere, wait, we have to hear that. simple in and listen a little bit to this. The phaser is really underrated. So uh, next is really important. I love the new hybrid reverb. This guy have beautiful algorithms and we can use I think this one and making a super small room and then look for yeah something like this. Thank you. 
So, like, I just found here this uh, early reflection I normally use, but like, uh, here's also texture, and there are really small little rooms. Um, and then you can go here, uh, use algorithms. Um, and then you make decay in size, like, super small. So, with that, you have a um, small room that makes, makes the element really comes next to you. And then I use Ezra Auxens, my Valhalla, minus 12. I mean, my last video said everything about this guy. And then we get this really psychedelic delays, of course. So say we map maybe the LFO on we say we put it on the the time of the doubler. <laughs> Possibilities endless. Um, I would say we put it on a on a decay, because then. We Also, sometimes it's really important to check if you need the reverb when you use the delay. And we don't use the delay. I like to use the reverb. But without the reverb, I think the delay sounds cool. Just uh, phasing, so we have a really dry signal and it gives us uh, a pleasing start point for the mix. That's one element. Uh, of course you can do a lot of variation, you can change the full um, oscillator part. So you can just say, hey, let's put a sample inside with a granulator or I don't know. And uh, yeah, then you have unlimited possibilities actually. Okay, I think that's all I want to show. Uh, have a pleasing evening or a blessing day. I uh, algorithm stuff, um, you know what to do. Um, I thank you. And yeah, we see you soon. Bye.